What is going on guys? Local Joe here. Welcome to the Go Home Show for Local Kingdom. We got ourselves a great show. Pittsburgh PA, you're in for a treat. Pick your poison match. And Tuberman picked James Casey's poison. And he picked me, the world champ. Basically, he pretty much called me because I was already at the show, at the Chaos Arena. Called me and he's like, you at the arena? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you know about the pick your poison stuff for the King of the Ring, Queen of the Ring finalists and all that? I'm like, yeah. Well, can you, can you be, or oh, you're the person that I pick to to be James Casey's opponent opponent in the pick your poison match. I was like, I mean, I was here to do an open challenge, but hey, that works too. I could, I'll do it. <laughs> so that's what's gonna kick off the show after we see what Azrael has to do or has something to say. See what this man has to say. I got something I need to get off my chest. And anyone who's seen my team in action lately knows exactly what this is about. Saban, get your ass out here. Oh, -ho -ho. calling out his brother Saban. I mean, the last time these two tagged, they lost. And Saban's been on a little losing streak. And Azrael's been on a winning, winning streak. I think the last time these two teamed up together was... I want to say last... No, probably like two weeks ago. Which they lost. And that loss ended Azrael's winning streak at the time. So I guess he just wants to talk about the losing streak they have as a team. I was working out in the back getting ready for our next match. I was waiting for you, but instead you're out here with a mic calling me out. What the hell's going on? <laughs> it's no surprise that I, he was working out in the back. I mean, these two are both on roids. Since you're usually a little slow on the uptake, I'm going to spell it out for you in two words. You suck. You're always, you've always sucked, and you are always will suck. You're sucking me down with you. Good God. I've been carrying you from day one, not the other way around. 
<laughs> I mean, is this the end of the oil slick bros? His big brother's not too happy. And we are seeing the end of the oil slick bros. Got sibling rivalry going on right now. Brother versus brother. Azrael. Sabin. And this is just built up frustrations from Azrael. It's like they haven't won a tag match in really long. And Azrael just beating the crap out of his older brother. And another Inseguri. Then a clothesline and Azrael all over Sabin. And I'm going to book this right now for next Friday at Local Kingdom. Azrael versus Sabin. Balls count anywhere. Hardcore. Yep. Azrael's, well, he's got a bit of an ego. We all know that. He's been on a winning streak as a singles competitor lately. Sabin's been on a losing streak as a singles competitor. And they both haven't been winning as a tag team. So Azrael just had enough of it. But these, those two are going to beat the crap out of each other at Local Kingdom. So, Tuberman picked me as James Casey's Pick Your Poison match. And I believe this might be the first time we've actually crossed paths five seasons of LCW and me and James Casey have never faced each other one on one I think we faced each other in a tag team match but that's about it The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first from Nashville, Tennessee, James the Bull Casey. Yeah, because when I had the brand split, was it like? Season 2 with the Asylum and the Underground. He was always on the Underground show and I was on the, the Asylum show. And I think we've only crossed paths in the Civil War pay-per-view. in the, what's it called, the, the Survivor Series type tag match.
and his opponent representing Los Loco Lobos. He is the LCW World Champion, Loco Joe. So yeah, I was at the Chaos Arena because I was going to do an open challenge, a non-title open challenge match because I wanted to, you know, warm up, have a warm-up match before I face Samoa Joe next Friday. But then Tuberman gave me a call and he wanted, he chose me to be... James Casey's pick your poison match or opponent and I was like what the hell let's do it it's the first time we're facing each other one on one here we go locked up middle of the ring getting the upper hand working on the arm oh Oh man, and trying to dislocate that elbow. Headlock takedown. I think Tuberman, he wants to go. He thinks, well, it might be true, but he thinks because Tuberman lost on Monday to K, that was James Casey's pick your poison opponent that he chose for him. So he thinks if I beat James Casey right now, that will give him back the momentum heading into the pay per view. Oh, big elbow busting me wide open. Then the backbreaker connects. Oh, overhand right by James Casey. And now, Irish whip towards the corner. Should Azrael versus Saban happen? Don't bet on it. <laughs> well, Azrael, well, Magic 8-Ball, you're full of crap, because that is happening at the pay-per-view, one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be in a hardcore match, since these two, or those two, just want to rip each other apart. Just like I'm ripping James Casey's arm right there. It's like he been fucked up. Making me bleed. Connected with the LCK right there. Is that the end of James Casey? Cutter connects, busting him wide open. And the overhand right, dropping him. And now will we see the five-star Loco Splash. Oh, he got his knees up instead. And now James Casey with the ball bomb. Middle of the ring, but doesn't go for the pin. Oh, he's got another one. Two bull bombs. That's got to be it. No, he's got a third. That might have been a mistake in James Casey's part. 
the two bull bombs and did not go for the pin. And a two count. James Casey can't believe it. Hit the running of the Bulls clothesline. And now James Casey very frustrated. Looking for some weapons under the ring now. Oh, hits him with the sledgehammer. And again, right in the chest. Sending a clear message to Superman right there. And the unnecessary taunting leading into the bull hug. And he did. Yep. Those sledgehammer shots right to the back. And then goes right for the bull hug. Making me tap out. Well, Superman wanted momentum back for him. The momentum heading into his match goes straight to James Casey after that huge win and now is in line for a future world title shot as well. I mean, even <laughs> like even if he loses the King of the Ring tournament or in the finals next week, he still would be in line for a future title shot after pinning the world champ. So it's a win-win for James Casey, even if he loses next week. I will get my payback. Next time we face, it will be in a submission match. But coming up next, we got the former LCW Women's World Champ, Amy Rose, going one-on-one -on -one with the former LCW Women's Intercontinental Champion, Brittany. In the main event, though, we got a six-man hardcore tornado tag match. The Wolfpack Mafia, Anthony Walker, and the UK Collective versus Evil Eyes, Mass Terror, and Dios de la Guerra, the Dark Order. We'll see if they can get their first win as a team in the main event, which I doubt. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first from Las Vegas, Nevada, Amy Rose. Also representing the Pink Roses. Fucking creeper. Urgh. Amy Rose looking to get back in the title picture. The last title match she had was... 
I believe it was on... No, it wasn't on a pay-per-view, I don't think. But it happened recently, like... Towards the end of last season. And her opponent... From... Salem. She is the Wicked Witch of LCW. Brittany. Brittany's actually been on a roll, won her last two matches. Shoot. Brittany looking to get in the women's world title picture. Brittany with a couple elbows right to the gut. Amy Rose getting the upper hand and then trips her. Brittany did not like that. Just smacks the the ring mat. And now Amy Rose going for the fisherman suplex. Oh, look at those headbutts. Connecting very hard on Amy Rose. But Amy Rose gets right back up. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, the buckle bomb connects. And a beautiful drop kick by Brittany. Brittany trying to get the crowd behind her. Amy Rose just playing possum right there. Double knees right to the face. Missing with the single leg drop kick. Irish whip to the corner. Oh, knife edge chop. Oh, big elbow right to the face. And now Brittany with the Hurricanrana. Hits her with another elbow. And now just tossing Amy Rose like a rag doll. Amy Rose with the Northern Light Suplex. And now there's the the DDT made famous by Velveteen Dream, who recently got cut by the WWE. So you never know, you might see him appear on LCW one of these days. Brittany, oh, working the legs of Amy Rose. Amy Rose with the back body drop. And what's she gonna do to poor Brittany? Oh, DDT onto the apron. The hardest part of the apron. Awesome. 
And what's Brittany going to do here? Oh! That's got to be it. Oh, the big boot connects. And now Amy Rose working on the back of Brittany. Snapmare takedown. Using that bum as a weapon. Dropped by or fall away slam by Brittany. And as Amy Rose gets right back up, Brittany puts her back down with some headbutts. Look at those clotheslines. Irish whip. Oh, elbow to the face. And now Brittany with another head, but she loves using that head. And now the DDT. Three, and Brittany gets another victory. I think I might book her in a match for the pay per view next Friday. I mean, she deserves to be in one. See, we already got all the titles. All the title matches are already booked. But who should she face? Actually. Hmm. Let's see. Who can she... With maybe Belle, who's another... Another one who's been on a roll lately, who's going to be in action uh, later on. But that's a huge win for the former Women's Intercontinental Champ. There we go, got a couple of big men going at it one on one. These two are probably probably the same size. So this should be one hell of a match right here. following contest is scheduled for one ball making his way to the ring first he is the chainsaw swinging Chris Wildcat Matsuda
his opponent representing Twisted Metal Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth looking to to go on a singles run right now. One day fight for the world title or the TV uh, championship, TTV title. He's been in a in a tag team pretty much his entire LCW career. Big right hand by Sweet Tooth. And then tosses him straight in the air, showing off his strength. And does it again. Oh, multiple right hands dropping Wildcat. Oh, big elbow. Wildcat looking to get some offense in finally. Now the Irish whip ducks under and look at the big man's agility connects with that hurricanrana oh nice takedown by a wildcat or power slam whatever whatever you want to call it and another toss-up And going for the discus clothesline, but barely connects. And a spine buster connects, but Sweet Tooth gets right back up. And now Wildcat looking to go old school. And there's the Wildcat Splash. That must have really hurt um, Sweet Tooth because he did not sit up after breaking up or kicking out of that pinfall. But now Sweet Tooth with multiple rights. And now Wildcat. Oh, going for the spear, but Sweet Tooth. One step ahead of him. And now smartly tosses him back into the ring. And hits him with that bro kick. Or that sweet kick. The Twisted Bomb. Two, three, and Sweet Tooth gets a victory over Wildcat. There's that Wildcat splash. Must have knocked the win at a Sweet Tooth at that point. He did not get up after that. But then connects with that twisted bomb, finishing Wildcat. And here is your winner, 
So we too. Huge win for Sweet Tooth. This one I'm looking, I was looking forward to when I created this card. Low London versus Crystal Danger. Low London, the former LCW Women's World Champ, going up against the current Women's TTV Champ, who will be defending her title next Friday at Local Kingdom against Foxy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring first from Houston, Texas, Low London. Of London, who's actually been on a losing streak. Actually, no, she got she got a win in her last match. Just remember that. And her opponent from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Not quite her hometown. I remember right now we're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But she is the current women's TTV champ, Crystal Danger. And for some reason, no one can defeat her for that title. Hopefully Foxy will do that next Friday. Look how cocky she is. Makes me sick. They lock up middle of the ring. Crystal getting the upper hand and then Low London just taking it back. Let's see if Low London can take Crystal Danger to school. Low London is an LCW OG. And connects with the sling blade. Going for that kick. Low London saw it coming and hits her with the face buster. With a win over the women's TTV champ, this will definitely earn her future 
TTV women's title shot. And beautiful spine buster by Low London. But a nice counter by the champ. And connects with the clothesline and I thought she was gonna go roll to the outside, but she was rolling to the corner instead. Oh, big knife edge chop. And now Crystal. Looking to connect the superplex. A super back body drop. And right now, Crystal Danger is in control of this match, and like always, every time I say something about the other opponent taking control and shit. The other person she's fighting, or she, the other person he or she is fighting, always ends up countering. And now Crystal possibly setting her up to drop her in the danger zone. But Low London saw it coming, the veteran that she is, but did not see that super kick coming. Oh, she was going for that, that danger cutter, but Low London saw that one coming too. And pre-show's done. Nice. How was the show? Oh, Low London was going for a slap. Oh, but connects with the clothesline instead. And snap German suplex connects. And Low London kicks out of the sling blade. Amazing show, nice. I will have to check it out on your Facebook page later. And, oh, nice arm drag takedown by Crystal. And now the monkey flip right onto the metal ramp right there. It's been a great match so far. Low London with a nice counter. Oh, she was going for the Kinshasa knee. But Crystal knows a lot, of, or knows that move quite well, because her sister uses it. Oh, nice. Face buster right there. And Crystal with the clothesline. Cam Martin versus Evil Joe. Amazing versus Amanda Drake. Versus Red in a triple threat match. And Maddie Owens versus Matt Anderson. Extreme rules. Nice. And there's the crossface. Kitchy Baker tap. There's the super kick from out of nowhere. That's how she won the women's TTV champ. But didn't help her get the win right now. And now the Northern Lights suplex connects. And a standing shooting star.
plus the creation of Anarchy Rules Arena. Nice. Oh, now Crystal setting up Low London for the Danger Cutter. But Low London still in it. Crazy how Crystal was probably the the weak link out of both Brook out of both Brook and Crystal, but now nobody can defeat Crystal now. <laughs> Crystal with a huge win over Low London, connecting with the danger or dropping her in the danger zone. Giving herself some momentum heading into her title defense against Foxy next Friday at the pay-per-view. And here is your winner, Crystal Danger. I really do hope Foxy defeats defeats her for the title. And speaking of titles, we got the hardcore title on the line, Joseph Cruz, the man who defeated Evil Eyes last week. Gets rewarded with a hardcore title match this week. Can he take it away from Mr. OA? Who is the king of the ring in GMW. And by the way, the winner of this match will defend their title next Friday at Local Kingdom against a mystery opponent. Chris Danger versus a mystery opponent tomorrow. If he only knew. <laughs> And I, I cannot wait to see who it is. Well, the hardcore champ will be defending their hardcore title at the pay-per-view next Friday against a mystery opponent as well. The following match is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the LCW Hardcore Championship. Making his way to the ring first from Seattle, Washington, Joseph Cruz. Joseph Cruz, who's coming off a huge win over Evil Lies last week. And like what Anthony Walker said during his show, Joseph Cruz should be rewarded while he's getting a hardcore title match. But hopefully, to keep on winning, earn probably a TTV title match or a future world title match but he just has to keep winning he hasn't won a lot in LCW hopefully that win against Evil Lies last week is the start of something for him
and Mr. O.A. who considers himself a Hall of Famer already. But making his way to the ring first, or his opponent, is the current LCW Hardcore Champ, Mr. O.A. Introducing the challenger, Joseph Cruz. And the reigning, defending LCW Hardcore Champion, Mr. O.A. I would like to offer Mr. Cruz a TV title match should I beat Evil Eyes. Done. You could hmm, defend it that following Friday, that first Chaos episode after the pay per view. And if you lose, big if though. If you lose to Joseph Cruz, then you will get your rematch at that following pay-per-view, which would be probably, I believe, Summer Showdown, which is the Summer Slam of LCW. Running knee strike by Mr. O.A. And now Joseph Cruz getting the upper hand. Joseph Cruz, I would say, I was about to say, like, could possibly win his first LCW title, but. He's been the LCW US champ. No problem, just remember I still have the request for the world title also, so. Oh wait, that's right. Um, the, your rematch, like if you do lose a TTV title to him, following that first Friday after the pay-per-view. But probably, you probably have to do your rematch, well, maybe the following week, because at the Summer Showdown, we're going to do a, well, if I win at the pay-per-view, then a triple threat match, triple threat ladder match at the Summer Showdown pay-per-view between myself, you, and Chris Danger. And if Summer, uh, uh Summer Joe, Samoa Joe, if he wins next Friday, then it will be a fatal four way ladder match at Summer Showdown. And we're getting hardcore. Mr. Owe bringing out the sledgehammer. So if I have to do double duties, I will. Okay. And yeah, could go for the TTV title early in the show and then be ready for the main event. And Mr. Elway looking to finish off Joseph Cruz. And connects with the Kinshasa. And 
now Mr. Owe. Looking to finish him off. Connects with that flying leg drop. Goes for the pin. Mr. Owe going back to the top rope. This time goes for that dragon splash. And Joseph Cruz just won't give up. Oh, look at that. Flatliner from the top rope. And now going for the elbow right to the back of the head. It's got to be it. And it is Mr. Owe will be defending his hardcore title at the pay-per-view next Friday against a mystery opponent. Want to find out who it is? Tune in next week. It's like that mystery opponent who I have in, in my head would have a great match, a great hardcore match against either one of these guys. And here was your winner, and still the LCW Hardcore Champion, Mr. O.A. And perfect timing to start the second half of the show. Right at the one hour mark. There we go, we got the possible Wolfpack Mafia, Ashley Mendez and Alex Winters going up against the Hurt Business, Ashley and Morgan. Will Mr. OA be GMW TV champ? Look deep into your heart, and you will see the answer. Then no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Last time Ashley and Alex Winters were teaming up together, came up a little short. I believe they lost to the women tag champs. Let's see if they can rebound and get a win over the Hurt Business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, 
making their way to the ring first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Ashley and Morgan, the Hurt Business. Hurt Business who, well the female Hurt Business who hasn't been that successful in tag matches so far. I think they only won like one or two matches. And from uh, Los Angeles, California, Ashley Rose Mendez. She is the EST of LCW. And her tag team partner from Seattle, Washington, representing the Wolfpack Mafia, Alex Winters. And I believe she's going to be fighting for the women's, the GMW women's title. Come on, let's go. She is the leader of the women's wolf pack mafia. Looking to start. Looking to start up the Women's Wolfpack Mafia in LCW and also GMW. And I believe Ashley Rose Mendez might be recruited. Yes, Alex Winters, Tessa Blanchard for the GMW Women's Title Anarchy Rule. Good luck to Alex Winters tomorrow. And now Ashley Rose Mendez shoving Morgan all the way to her corner. So far it's been a shoving matchup. And Morgan had enough of this. Connects with that neck breaker. Then hits that belly to belly suplex. And now tags in the leader of the hurt business, Ashley. Universe with the created cause, yes, sir. By the way, welcome. Yes, 
this. This is LCW, my my brand, local crazy wrestling. Yes, mostly created. It's like you'll see some real WWE superstars in there, but only the ones that are free agents now. Like coming up next Friday at the at the next pay-per-view, you will see my character defend the LCW World Title against Samoa Joe. This is PS4, but if you have it on Xbox, just join my Discord, and there's a section in my Discord for Xbox players. Just put the put all the info of your created superstar in there, and I will create the character for you. Thank you, Anthony. And a belly to belly suplex. And the zigzag by Ashley. And Ashley showing off her strength with that belly to belly suplex and her agility with that kip up. So if you have this on PS4, just upload your character using the hashtag LCW and I will download him. Unless he's already uploaded, then let me get the hashtag and I will go download him. And if you're on Xbox, join the Discord, put the info of your character in that join LCW section and I will create them for you. Thanks for the follow, welcome to the pack. This is awesome. It's been a great tag match between the Wolfpack Mafia and the Hurt Business, and what a knee strike. But that only pissed Alex Winters off right there. But she walked right into an arm bar instead. I think I have a a command for to join LCW. Let me see if I actually did it. Yeah, there you go, right there. Winters. Or Ashley Morgan, Alex Winters looking to tag in her partner and gets the hot tag. Or the not so hot tag. That usually happens a lot. <laughs> have Kanto but I do have some pics of the entire screenshots of the moves and I will send it yeah that's good I will definitely take a look at it oh there's the end of days by Ashley is that the end of Ashley Rose Mendez this is Ashley versus Ashley. I just barely noticed that. But now, look at that. Ashley Rose Mendez showing off her strength, doing some squats into a power slam. And now the Irish went to the corner. What is Ashley going to do here? Oh, big elbow by Ashley Rose Mendez. And now Ashley 
multiple rights. And now elbows to the side of the head. What is she going to do here? <laughs> Poison Rana from the top rope. And Alex Winters breaking up the pinfall. It's been a great tag match. And look at those rights and lefts by Ashley. Oh, then the knockout blow right there. Well, at least Ashley thought it was a knockout blow, but she gets the hot tag into her partner. And a not so hot tag. Never mind. And now Morgan, oh, with that brain buster, but Alex Winters gets right back up, but walks right into an elbow, gives an elbow right back to her. And now the Irish whip. Can Morgan finish off Alex Winters? almost landing right on Ashley Mendez. And speaking of the Hurt Business, the leader of the male Hurt Business, Ray, sent me a message on Discord saying that breaking news, WWE returns to live events starting July 16th. Nice. It's about time. And now Alex Winter is going for the pin. Woo, so close. Now Ashley going for the pin, but Ashley kicks out or breaks it up. Oh, what a DDT on, looked like the LED board right there. And now goes for the pin. Three, and the Hurt Business gets the victory. What a match. So maybe Ashley Mendez isn't a good fit of the Mafia. Maybe Alex Winters needs to recruit somebody else. She lost, they lost two matches in a row as a tag team. But here is your winners the Hurt Business. There we go. Which which team is gonna go into the tag team title match next Friday? Will Ray Wolf give the Lobos the momentum, or will D Smith give the Smith Bros the momentum heading into the tag team title match?
Los Locos Lobos versus Aftershock for the GMW World Tag Titles tomorrow. Nice. That's going to be a banger of a match. Also, Ray Wolf defends his GMW T or GMW TV title against Mr. Oway. That's going to be a hell of a match right there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring first, representing Los Loco Lobos. He is one half of the LCW World Tag Team Champions, Ray Wolf. Love the design and lights. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Also, man, make sure you go follow this man. He he has his own promotion called GMW. He does every Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays. Give him a follow. His pay-per-view Anarchy Rules is tomorrow. It's going to be on his Twitch. And his opponent. Representing the Smith Bros, D. Summit. GMW gets extreme, yes. Oh, now that I think about it, the next pay-per-view after Local Kingdom is going to be my version of Extreme Rules called Total Madness. And then it's Summer Showdown after that one. So the world title match will be defended at Total Madness either in a triple threat TLC match or a fatal four-way TLC match. Depends on what the outcome is next Friday at the pay-per-view. And Ray with a nice counter. Oh, what a knee by D. Smith. Into a leg drop. Next pay-per-view after tomorrow is Highway to Hell. Nice. And D. Smith getting hardcore. Hits him with the kendo stick and goes for the quick pin. Oh. Inverted DDT connects. And now stomping a mud hole into Ray Wolf. Counter by Ray into the super kick. And a nice takedown. And now Palm Strikes connects. And Ray with the Hurricanrana. Will Ray lock in that full moon lock? Which is that guillotine choke that he loves to use. So far he's won probably... Well, his last... Five, four matches. 
he won with that submission hold. And now D. Smith catching that kick and turns it into a German suplex. Oh, hit him with that gut wrench power bomb. But Ray showing off his speed, connecting with that kick from out of nowhere. Big right hand by D. Smith hits him with the running knee. And now kick to the gut. But Ray using his speed against the bigger man. I did not know D. Smith was actually that tall. Then a rebound clothesline by Ray Wolf. And now D. Smith going for the Smith Clash. Three and D. Smith with the win over Ray Wolf, connecting with that Smith Clash finisher. Giving his team the momentum heading in to Local Kingdom next Friday. Will that be the outcome next week in the tag team title match? Will we have new tag team champions? It's a possibility. Here is your winner. D. Smith. Out of the two brothers, he is probably the better brother. Well, actually, he is the better brother. The Lobos are favorite for tomorrow. Not next Friday, I guess. Nope. Hopefully, if they win tomorrow... It will give them some momentum for next week. There we go. The rematch from last week. Tessa Blanchard, the current GMW Women's Champ. One-on-one -on -one with the woman that gave her her first loss last week. Brook Danger making Tessa tap out. This week, Tessa wants a rematch, but this time a submissions match. And this is the co main event right here. Here we go, co made event time. The following contest is a submissions match, making her way to the ring first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Brooke Danger. Now we're talking. Brooke Danger, probably the favorite in this match. 
since she already made Tessa Blanchard tap out last week. And her opponent, Tessa Blanchard. That was actually weird. Like I just felt a cold breeze pass through my my hand. It's like my windows are not even open. That is freaky. But anyways, Brook Danger, Tessa Blanchard, the rematch. Hell, if Tessa wins. Well, no. I already got Tessa's opponent for Local Kingdom. A match that, since bringing Tessa in, is a match that I've been wanting to see. And that's her versus Megan Starr. Tessa Blanchard versus Alex Winters for, tom for the GMW Women's title tomorrow. Also, Liv Killer versus Dragon Queen. That's going to be a good one. Actually, both those matches are going to be good. And now Tessa. Bouncing her head off the concrete. And now, oh, bouncing her head off the steel post now. Getting something payback right there that's a good way to set up her danger lock which is a dragon sleeper like move oh multiple rights by Tessa Blanchard and a loop this press I wonder if you can make a false count anywhere submissions match. I didn't even try that. Just for like shit like this. Where they could, you know, put the submissions on the outside and shit. Oh, it's a Curry Connects. Another shot to the head. Possibly setting her up for the danger lock. Tessa Blanchard with the head scissors takedown. Oh, missing with that roundhouse kick. Oh, she was going for it right there. The danger lock, but nice counter by Brooke Danger so she just used her Kinshasa finisher so that means the danger lock is no more and look at Tessa Doing the Ric Flair strut. Big clothesline. Another one. Then a single leg drop kick. Tessa not too happy that Brooke made her tap out last week, last Friday. Looking to get some revenge by making her tap out. And look at that. She's got her in the octopus lock. 
But Rook fights out of it. And DDT connects. Big boot connects. And look at those multiple knee strikes right to the back. And now she's got her in the octopus lock again. But Brunt fights out of it. And there it is, the Hammerlock DDT. Let's see if she could put her in a submission hold now. And there's the Tilt the World head scissors takedown. Tessa going to the top rope. Trying to break the arm of Tessa Blanchard. And there. Which is probably a not so smart move by Brooke. When she could have just used that to put the danger lock on. And now Tessa with the octopus stretch again. But Brooke does not want to give up. Irish whip. Tilt the world. DDT. Love that move. And now the Irish whip to the corner. And double knees right to the gut. Now Tessa possibly setting her up for that elbow drop again. Oh no, she's telling her to get up this time. Oh, and hits her with the code breaker from the top rope. And now showing off her strength with that deadlift powerbomb. And Brooke was going for the danger lock. These two countering each other, countering every move. And going for it again, but Tessa saw it coming. Oh, man, what a backbreaker that was. Can Tessa put her in that octopus lock again? There's the hammerlock DDT. Gets her right back up. She was gonna go for it. And connects with the cutter. And now going for the abdominal stretch. No, but Tessa fights out of it. Into a head scissors takedown. There's the danger lock. Is she going to tap here? Oh, Tessa did not want to give up. Did not want to tap out to the danger lock again. I mean, if this was a regular match, this match would have probably been over after that Kinshasa knee. I 
swear, Brooke reverses everything. She's like the female version of Azrael. And now dropping her in the danger zone from the top rope. And again, if this was a regular match, this would have been over. Now multiple kicks to the back and a big boot to the face. And now looking to break the arm. Nope, changes her mind and double knees to the spine. And now this time double knees to the gut. Tessa possibly going for that code breaker from the top rope. And connects. And Brooke again reverses it. And that knee from the middle rope connects. Going for it again. And connects again. Oh, but Tessa Blatcher, very smart. But Brooke Danger, also very smart, going right after her. I think Brooke Danger might have Tessa's number. Tosses her back into the ring. Let's see if she can get her in that danger lock. Nope. Connects her with the Kinshasa though. The axe kick right to the back of the neck. I mean, if Brooke somehow loses, it's going to go all. It's going to go back to when she hit all those Kinshasa knees. Because she could have just put the danger lock on. And Brooke fights out of it again. And now just stretching the arms of Brooke. Oh, knee to the gut. And another one. Now the head scissors take down. Oh, follows that up with a spine buster. But Brooke, very smart of her to roll out. <laughs> she was going straight in, and then at the last second, turned to the right. Amazing. Can Brooke get her back in the ring? Ah, but Tessa will. Let's see if she'll go for that octopus stretch again. She's 
going for the double knees. And now the deadlift power bomb. And now setting her up for the code breaker. And misses with the elbow again. And now stretching the arms out. This is definitely to set up the octopus lock. And there it is. Is Brooke going to tap out? Nope. Fights out of it. What else is new? And a Kinshasa. When she could have used the danger lock instead. God, the AIs are so dumb. Please make her tap already. Somebody makes somebody tap. And there it is, the danger lock. And Brooke makes Tessa Blanchard tap out again to the danger lock. What a match. I mean, if this was a regular one on one match, it would have been over a long time ago. Good news for winter, I guess. Yep. No momentum for Tessa Blanchard heading into the GMW pay-per-view tomorrow. And here is your winner by submission, Baruch Danger. And now we go on to the main event. Six man hardcore tornado tag match. Let's see if the game crashes. The leader of the Wolfpack Mafia, Anthony Walker, who is the current TTV champ, bringing his boys, the UK Collective, to go up against Evil Eyes and the Dark Order. Team No Impact. <laughs> Tech Raven also <laughs> and the Tech Dark Order <laughs> exactly Actually went through, thank God. Now hopefully the game doesn't freeze. There we go. Hardcore rules, false count anywhere. First one to get the pinfall wins. 
This is just going to be an all-out battle. And Mass Terror with the reverse choke slam to, I believe that was Gary Eaton. And now a preview of next week's hardcore Iron Man match. Evil Eyes and Anthony Walker. And look at Mass Terror and Dios de la Guerra going right after Anthony Walker. S yeah, slow ass ref indeed. Somebody should go after Dios to get on the outside because it is false count anywhere. Hardcore rules. And now mass terror with that choke slam. Choke slam bomb, whatever the hell you want to call it. Then the reverse choke slam. And now he's got the Iron Claw, but stupid Evil Eyes broke it up. That's his own teammate. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he could have probably won the match right there with the Iron Claw. How OP that move is. But Evil Eyes freaking ruined it. <laughs> Walker trying to get that quick pin. And now elbows to the skull. And right now the Mafia with the three on two advantage right now. Jawbreaker to Evil Eyes. And a snap DDT by Gary. You know, that would be a cool feature in 2K22 if you see how your character had had him up on his shoulders. And, wow. I completely forgot about that freaking choke move. That's another goddamn OP move I forgot about. That's another move that I have to remove from anybody who has that. I think Brute has that move as well. No, he has that other choke move that that I forgot who has it. And the not so impact team finally get a victory. Lucky pricks indeed. Is this the start of the takeover? Or is this a fluke? I think it's the second one. But, anywho, this was a great show. Next Friday, Local Kingdom, around the same time as this show. Be there, it's going to be a great show. Hardcore title on the line. Mr. Owe versus a mystery opponent. We got Local Joe, Samoa Joe in the main event. Anthony Walker versus um, sh versus Evil Eyes, Hardcore Extreme Rules match. Hardcore Iron Man Extreme Rules match. 
and line the finals of the king and queen of the ring tournaments that's all gonna happen next friday tune in i'll see you guys then loco out